so far in the html whenever we are putting some text it is actually coming in its default form that is the font size font color and the font family is all the same but if i want to make some changes in order to make my web page look different and more attractive i can actually change the way my font looks and i can do that using the font tag basically nowadays we don't often use font tag rather we use the style sheet in order to put some styles in our text but here we are not going to discuss about style sheet and even in html we can do that by the time you will start learning about the style sheet you will get some other ways also in order to design your font but here particularly in html if you want to put some style in your text you can do that using the font tag so let's see the implementation of font tag where we will try to change the color size and font family of any particular text so let's start the implementation now so with the context of font tag here i am using the attribute size at the first and where i am showing you like the maximum value or the minimum value that a size can have is from 1 to 7 all right so here what i am doing i am using separate line for each font and in each line you can see that i am using different font size to show you so here in the output you can see we have font size 1 to font size 7 and you can check all the font sizes if you can if you use any other size apart from 7 like 8 so you can observe that there will be no change in the size all right so that means the maximum size that a font can have here in this way will be 7 but we can also pass the font size relatively that means as here in this example you can see from the current font size if you want to decrease a font size or if you want to increase a font size as for the current font size so in that way you can use this minus 1 or plus 1 so it will increase or decrease the size relatively so here now you can check like this one is minus 1 then when you will do plus 1 it will be from the relative one and again you can see font plus 4 all right if i will not change any size right here then definitely you can see this one will not be coming in any different size but rather it will be taking the default font size but if you will pass plus 3 means if you will pass 3 it will be having a different size not relatively all right but in font size plus 3 it will relatively increase its size by, by default three size is not that big as you can see here because it is increasing relatively means plus 1 is being done here then plus 2 is being done here then from there plus 3 is being done here so this is the relative font size which you can increase by the time you are using the font size but apart from size you can also check the font face means the different font style which you want to use so as you may have the different fonts is installed in your system like times new roman verdana comic sans ms wild west and bedrock all right so here i am taking the same size for all that is 5 but the font face is different in each case so this is the different font faces that we have in our system if there is any font that is not installed on your system then it will be displayed on the default font face and finally let's have the information about the font color so when it's about color we have the n number of ways of passing the color which i'll show you later but here you what you can do like font color this one will be the pink color while this is clearly written red so when we'll check that in the browser here you can see this is pink this is red so in a font tag you can pass several things like font size font face and font color now as for the color, as far as the color is concerned so you can come here in the html tutorial of tutorials point in a chapter colors 
so here they will tell you about the different way you can pass a color and along with that they'll also show you the formation like the first one is the standard way of color that you can take the color names all right uh, like this like we have already done that in color red apart from that you can also give the hexadecimal code of that all right so it will be starting with hash and then you can make different comparisons like all zeros six zeros will be black six f's will be white and after that you can make it rgb means different pattern you can make different combinations through that so these are the way along with that you can use the rgb method property here uh, in which you can pass different parameters again it is for the rgb means the first one for red second is for green and then for the blue so these are the different ways which you can use and in that particular manner you can just make these different combinations in order to create such fancy color so if you like any color from it you can just copy the code particular code and you can start implementing that for example if i'll copy this particular font color so and i'll put it here so obviously it will not be pink now but yes uh, i'll not change the text let's come back here and let's refresh this and here you can see now it is having the similar color as of this one so this is how you can start working with the font tag and can pass various attributes like color face and size